Hey peeps, Donnie here, also known as Schwig. Uh, I am here doing my 48 week update. Um, 48, August 16th, 2017. Uh, I'm gonna just jump right into my stats. So I had uh, bariatric surgery in Las Vegas. I am from Canada on Vancouver Island, the West Coast, and uh, but I paid to have self-paid to have my surgery in Vegas with Dr. Tom Ombuck of Blossom Bariatrics at the Warm Springs Surgical Center. Um, I had my surgery September 14th, 2016. I am five foot six and a half inches tall. My high weight was 337 pounds. My um, day of surgery, I was 303.3 pounds. Last week I was, I had a big gain last week. Um, I was 223 pounds. And this week I am 218.2 pounds. With a, That is a loss of 4.8 pounds for the week. Um, I, uh, in my stats below, I just want to let you know that I do also document at the same time my pounds, how much I weigh, my pounds lost, but I also document it in kilograms and stone for those people who are overseas. I don't have lots of those followers, but I do have a few, so I thought I would make sure that I include them when um, when uh, I'm documenting my weight. So that is in the info below. So I have lost a total of 81 81.1 pounds since surgery and a total of 118.8 pounds from my high weight. Woo I'm very happy about that. Uh, I so I uh, did a video yesterday of um, the food that I'm eating for the week. I'm doing the Body for Life program. And um, I just wanted to show you today how I mix it up a little bit. Now I've done my meat for the whole week. Uh, so my meat stays the same all week. I really enjoy my yogurt and cottage cheese with my berries. So um, that is staying the same all week. But I do mix up the vegetables that I have with, my, with the meat. So I'm just going to turn this around and show you uh, what I am eating today. So I have six meals, five of which are here. I will have two shakes today, one in the morning and one at night. Um, I've got my salmon and today I've got it with, yesterday I had it with just kale, today I've got it with a little bit of a salad. I've included, instead of, um, yesterday I put some Greek feta dressing on my salmon, today I am putting a dill ranch on there. It's a little bit less calories. Um, it's 130 calories for two tablespoons. I only used one tablespoon. Uh, 13 grams of fat, two carbs, one sugar, zero protein. So that's what I've done today. Um, my chicken breast, grilled chicken breast, well, this isn't steamed yet, but it'll be steamed broccoli and cauliflower. And I'll just put some salt and pepper on there. And I've got my cottage cheese and yogurt with my berries. I've got uh, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries in both of these. They do have a different yogurt in them today. They are um, source, oh, I don't know what it's called, just a second here. It is sources zero fat um, yogurt. So I would prefer to have the Greek yogurt, but I ran out of it and I purchased this thinking it would be the next best thing. But I, after this stuff is all gone, and it should be gone soon because my husband likes it too, uh, I will be going back to the Greek yogurt. And um, uh, yeah, so the zero fat and very low sugar Greek yogurt that I purchased and had yesterday. So there you go, that's, that's my meal for today. So I also wanted to say that I purchased my tickets to OH uh, a little while back and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Just wondering who else is going. Uh, that happens every single, almost every single time I do a video, huh? That is my driveway alarm, so this, I know somebody's coming in. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been working, uh, what else? 
So about OH, just wondering who else is going? Who are you going? Um, and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I will be going, I will be staying with Berica. Um, if you don't know who Berica is, I, I suggest that you go and check her out, throw her some love. She lives in my area up here. Um, I don't see her a lot, but um, I do stay in contact with her. And, uh, but you know, we don't have support group up here and I would really, really appreciate it if you guys would go check her out, subscribe, show her some love and encourage her to make her videos. <laughs> Um, her information will be down below. Uh, and what else can I tell you? Oh, shopping. I wanted to tell you about shopping. So I've done some videos in the past, so if you've watched me for any length of time, you know the anxiety I had about shopping. Um, I have since gotten over some of that anxiety. I went, I've been purchasing clothes from Costco. Um, I don't know if, I don't remember if I've said that before in one of these videos, but Anyways, I can say I've gone a little bit overboard. I have restocked my closet, so I have plenty of uh, capris um, like I had before, but they all fit now. <laughs> and um, what else? I've bought some shirts. Um, I am in a solid either, well, solid. I'm in a large or an extra large, depending on what it is. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to change that soon too on this program. So I had some people in my last video a little concerned about me doing the Body for Life program and, um, you know, about how intense it is. I did mention that uh, previous, previously, I mean years ago when I've done this program pre-op, pre that um, I would work out till I threw up. Um, I don't purposely <laughs> work out till I throw up. I don't, I don't, um, I just push myself hard. And I think, in my opinion, that's a good thing. Now, I wouldn't have done it before now. I know I'm 11 months out now, but um, I, I couldn't get in enough calories before to maintain my muscle mass. And I feel like I've lost a lot of muscle. I feel a lot weaker um, since my surgery than I did definitely pre-op. So I want to rebuild that muscle. As a result of building that muscle, I'm hoping to rev up my metabolism. Um, and um, what else? And uh, just get stronger um, and, and lose weight at the same time. Now that's a definite benefit to it. And I would like to kickstart this weight loss again because I'm constantly hovering around 216. Uh, with the exception of the last week and a half because of my cycle. Um, that is just normal for me. But what I want to do is um, do these workouts and hopefully see some really positive results. Uh, I said, I think in my last video, that I've kind of got complacent and what kind of said, yeah, okay, I am where I am. I am really happy about where I am. Um, and if I stayed this way forever, that would be okay. Um, but I want to get a little bit angry with myself and say, you know what, I need to work at this. Um, I need to make these changes. I need to start exercising on a regular basis. I don't exercise on a regular basis. I always say I'm going to, but I don't. Um, this program started for me two days, Monday, started last Monday. And um, I've been really good at sticking with it, trying to make, uh, do my appointments. You know, I put, make appointments with myself so that I get the things done. Uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but I have been able to do it. Uh, my appointments that I make with myself are not necessarily always on time, <laughs> but I'm still making sure that I keep them. What else can I tell you? I had a few different things I was going to talk about today. And you think I can remember? I, you know, if I don't write it down, I don't remember. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't know how many minutes I'm at because I kind of stopped this and started it again. So I uh, kind of keep it a little bit short and um, sweet. So if you're new to my channel, hey! If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I always always love the love that you guys show me um, love the comments that you that you leave whether they're critical or not you know like if if uh, if you're concerned about what I'm doing like exercising till I throw up um, then you know say something I, I'm, I'm okay because it makes me think about it uh, like I said I don't do it um, 
I don't do it on purpose. I have not done it since I've been on this program. I have uh, gotten close when I was doing my cardio. I was like, oh, this feels, this not, doesn't feel good. I, but I haven't actually done that. So uh, no worries. <laughs> and um, so yeah, thank you very much to all of you. And I love each and every one of you. Uh, and um, show me your love back. Give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you again soon. Peace out, peeps.